shine upon a star Wake up where the clouds are far behind Me, where trouble melts like a lemon drops High above the chimney tops, that's where Good Monday morning, PHS. I'm Anna, and these are your morning announcements. Well, it's still technically summer, but I think we can all agree that fall is definitely in the air, and I am currently frozen for the first time in forever. <sighs> On to your morning announcements. First off, here's Mr. Conrad with a little message. Students, welcome back and happy Monday. I want to remind you about keeping a focus on your homework, classwork, projects, and other assignments that your teachers are giving you. Believe it or not, it's week four already. We'll be at midterm very soon. Teachers are grading tests and assignments and entering them into Pinnacle. Remember, your parents have access to Pinnacle so they can monitor what's going on with your grades. Be sure to take time each night to study and get your work done. Classes will become more difficult as time goes by, but your teachers are here to help you. Be sure to ask questions if there's something that you do not understand. We're off to a great start, Perry. I hope you have a great week. Go Panthers. Thanks, Mr. Conrad. On with the announcements. The boys cross country team finished 8th out of 17 teams at the very muddy Walsh Jesuit Tomahawk Run Invitational. The team was led by Johnny Stevenson's 16th place finish. Others who scored for the team were Cole Morris, Alex Ryan, Daniel Kronk, and Nick Luzecki. Kyle Bativis and Scott Essig finished 2nd and 5th in the JV race to earn varsity spots. Jake Hancock also received individual honors in the JV race with his 13th place finish. The team will race again this Saturday at the Slippery Rock Invitational in Pennsylvania. Teen court applications are due to Mrs. Minor in room 237 no later than September 19th. This past weekend, the girls cross country team placed 14th out of 37 teams at the Chiffin Carnival. Leading the way was Lexi Eckleberry, followed by Maddie Bartolone, Carly Peretta, Autumn Greco, and Sydney Fenn. Rounding out the top seven was Josie LaCourte and Hope Price. The girls will run their next race this upcoming Saturday at the Boardman Invitational. Attention all students interested in Japanese. The first meeting of Japanese Club will be Tuesday at 2.20 in room 201. We will elect officers and discuss ideas for future events. If you are unable to attend after school, we will also meet Wednesday morning at 6.50. 2014 Volley for the Cure t-shirt order forms are available in the main office. Attention students wishing to be involved in visual art activities such as painting murals, community service projects, and studio art experience. Art Club will hold their first meeting on Monday, September 8th, after school in the art room. We will be electing officers and planning activities for this year. The meeting will begin at 2.15 and end at 3.30. If you are unable to attend, see Mrs. Rusu in room 113 for more information. There will be a short meeting for anyone playing baseball this year in the cafeteria after school today. That's all I have for you today, Perry. Have a lovely day. Wake up where the clouds are far behind